the most significant research findings that we've had in the last few years is um, that the dogma when I was in school and when many of us were taught about type 1 diabetes is that a person with type 1 diabetes had absolutely no beta cells. The autoimmune response had really eliminated all the beta cells. And what we've learned actually only in the last few years is that patients who have had type 1 diabetes for over 50 years can still have some beta cells. Um, we've learned this from some autopsy samples um, that have been accumulating over time. And what that means is that even a person with type 1 diabetes is continually trying to make beta cells. And the implication is if we stop the immune system, we might be able to recover some of that biological function. And so that really gives us a lot of other ways to try to cure this disease. It's very exciting. Um, the other thing that we've found is um, that if you try to um, stop an ongoing immune response, it's much harder to stop an established response than one that's very early. So it's switched our attention a little bit at JDRF to start thinking about treatment and prevention of type 1 diabetes. So if we could get in right at the time of diagnosis, we might have a better chance of turning off that immune response. And if we were able to identify people who were going to get type 1 diabetes, we might be even able to treat them before the immune response starts at all, which is really um, an advantage in terms of controlling the immune response. And so we're starting to talk about prevention of type 1 diabetes, something that we didn't really think about five years ago.